disco halal and our sessions with the Moscow. Even the, even Max is here right on time. Very, yeah. Timing. It's all about timing. Max is... Wait, Siri. Why is Siri on? Sorry. What's up? How are you guys? Never better. Never. <laughs> um, ever, ever better. Max, can you, are you there, Max? Can we hear you? We can't hear you. You have to... I don't hear your mic. Do you hear Max? No. You have, are you on mute? Go into the settings and do hit your internal microphone. Yeah, hit it. The settings on the bottom of the screen, the little... Yeah, press S. To the right, all the way to the right. Anyway, till you do it. Hey, everybody. What's up? How is everybody doing? Hey, Eric. Hey. There he is. Now we can hear you. Welcome to another great episode of the Disco Halal A&R Show. Today I got each other, two good friends of mine, I hope, Max Pass underneath. We'll see, we'll see at the end of the show how that... Max Pass underneath and on the right, uh, Justin Strauss. Strauss, as we say. Not Strauss. 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 Uh, yeah, thank you for waking up early, half of you. I wake up, I wake up early every day. No, I was talking about Justin. <laughs> He's waking up like I used to wake up when I was like 20 at his uh, advanced age. <laughs> he still wakes up late. That's amazing. It's, no, that's great to see. 9.30, like 9.30. 9.30 now, pandemic time. But uh, I remember you were a little late, 7.30. You know, somebody woke up, Eric here, woke up very early. I don't know who is this guy. I've never met him, but he woke up very early, like uh, LA time. It's probably like seven in the morning. We're sorry about that. Sadly, sadly, I'm still here in Europe, so uh, this is Europe time. Europe time talking. Well, we I'm miss also... we miss Europe, that's for sure, and we're we're happy to uh, be here with you today, all over the world. Yeah. So everybody's here. People are starting to slowly, when you open the doors, people are starting uh, to join. Cool. I want to hear all the music. I'm excited for that. And we've been busy. You know, we've kept really busy in the studio, basically every day working. And that's really kept us sane, I think. And, and through all this, you know, it's been opportunity, you know, to do, to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, we've been... Busy with remixes, new songs, new tracks for our next thing. And, and yeah, it's been really exciting and really fun despite everything horrible going on. We're trying to make the best of it. So that's not great. Right. Let's go to not get into the corona because uh, otherwise, this shows will not, would not, would not last. Yeah, we shit. we're all fucked. Moving on. <laughs> Tomorrow will be a better day. Yeah, I mean, certain it's just out of our hands you know we do what we can do and that's make music and uh things are already better you know at one point it reaches a point at one point it reaches a situation that it just finishes because it's over you know nothing can last forever it has its own life and even viruses die so it's all good. <laughs> i hope i hope so because uh yeah we need to get back to playing in front of people and and sharing all that that's the you know the people's not being sick and all that but yeah i can't wait to come back to berlin that's for sure and and play and hang out with you guys and robbie who i saw on your show last week it was really great to see him and yeah it's cool sadly what i saw now not until the end of 2022 that's berlin for example but I think the U.S. will be better very fast. The U.S. and the, and the U.K. Well, if you're playing basketball, things seem to be 
opening up. They're like having basketball games and things in New York <clears throat> with rapping. Yeah. Restaurants. Yeah. I see a lot of people all the time in restaurants. And uh, I know that Atlanta is opening up. Chicago is opening up for uh, low capacity. So it's, it's happening. You know, you can't stop the world, even if people are, you know, getting sick or whatever. Let's not get into that. Let's let's start listening to music. What's up, Max? You're you're so quiet there. What's Sorry, I'm texting with James Friedman. <laughs> ah, tell him to get on the winner if he wants to join us for a little chat. He's he a busy guy. Maybe he has some music we could check out. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's a busy guy. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Antoine. I need to say hi to the people in the chat. I want to say hi also. It's hi. So hi, everybody. Thanks for coming again. And uh, I'll, let's see if we can play this tune. Uh, Luigi, you don't, you didn't pay for SoundCloud this month. Why are you sending me a Dropbox link? <laughs> Come on, how can we listen to music like this? Let me know, guys, if you can hear it. As long as you're subscribed to Moscow, man, it's all right. We're four. We can be the three of us and the and the file like this.
Nice. Okay. Uh, uh, just technically, you guys should do a mute when we listen because if you're in the same system, then we can hear the sound. I didn't know. Um, no, it's all right. But uh, because I muted you in the middle of the, it's no problem. Um, yeah. I think it's I really like the kick. <laughs> like, I like the vibe. I thought it was a really cool dubby vibe. I would definitely play something like that in like opening set. You know, like really yeah. not setting the mood. I think it's it's really good. I like. Yeah, the I agree. Um, I was thinking of listening to it. That that's something I would I would put in a in a warm up set. Um, I feel like. Um, it was pretty well done for like this 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 deep genre, I guess. Um, I really like the intro and the little part after the break. Uh, yeah, I can see that working well in a in a warm up context or like maybe a late night sunrise moment. I, I mean, I think warm up the warm up part is like one of my favorite parts of DJing. Actually, I mean, you need those tracks that like set the mood for the night. And that would be a great track to play at the beginning of, you know, getting things started. Sounds really good. I like the drums. I like, yeah. Really yeah. Good. yeah. Good job. Yeah. I just. Wait, who was uh, that? Do we get to know who, who sends the tracks? Yeah, of course. His name is uh, Luigi Sambai. Sam Sambai. Where's he from? Uh, Luigi, I'm going to say Italy. <laughs> I guess he's Italian, but I think he lives in New York, maybe. I don't know. Ah. Perhaps. Yeah. I think the mix, cool. yeah, I think the, the tune was nice for me. The, I think the mix was a little it needs a lot a little more work. Cause uh sometimes this tracks they're you know, you listen to them once and then but then when you play them in a big system, they don't have he's in it, Italy based in New York. And then you play them in a big system and everything is all over the place. The mix, that's how it's, I don't know how you guys are listening. I'm listening in the studio monitor, so it sounds a little bit all over the place. But uh, overall, the vibe is good, yeah. Yeah, I'm listening on um, on studio monitors as well, and I thought it was yeah. sounded fine. I mean, I didn't really like pay attention too much to like super sounding details. I was more thinking yeah. vibe. Uh, yeah. But I thought it sounded fine. Um, that was not that. That wouldn't be a, a huge um, sort of critic from me, at least the mix. Yeah. How do you uh, how do you type into those the the chat? Ah, uh, you can't. Only if you have a Twitch, only via your Twitch page. You All can right. Join okay. and chat, and have fun with people. And uh... well, good job, Luigi. Thank you for sending. Yeah. Totally. Really good way to start. So what have you been guys have been working on lately? What's going on? Uh, we've been completing demos for our new EP, uh, which we're going to submit to um, the Soulwax Brothers uh, actually this afternoon, right after this uh, show. We have a meeting with the Dewey, Dewey Sessions. And then uh, what have we done? We did a remix for our friend's label here in New York called um, Our Starry Universe for a band called Birds of Pandemonium. Um, we just finished a remix for um, Correspondent. Um, we literally finished it yesterday or something, right? Uh, Peter, and Peter Invasion. And, uh, Gregor Habicht. Yeah. Uh, and then we have our um, remix for uh, Rodier's label, which is called... What's the name of the label? Anyway, it's an artist called Schema. And then we have a remix of Midnight Magic Beam Me Up coming out soon. Um, what else? Maybe. Just <laughs> Maybe. Phenomenal, phenomenal hand clap band. If that, oh, uh, yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody have been busy. Yeah, where we we've, we've been working every day, and uh, it's, like I said, it's been keeping. It's been really keeping me creative and I'm, I'm feeling really inspired actually uh it's been great i mean you know love working with max and it's been a great great thing we have we share the studio with juan mclean and you know we see him every day and so there's there's a you know there's there's things going on here in new york thankfully 
in that regard. So we're able to be creative and make music and that's been really fun. And uh, yeah, we can't wait to for you guys to hear what we've been doing. Uh, if you want to share something to play to people. No. We are, <laughs> well, it's soon, soon enough, we, you know, we're here to listen to you. You've heard enough of us this season. <laughs> I heard, but the people in the, the crowd didn't hear. Didn't well, hear. check out. Maybe maybe they like to know more, but uh, in any case, we did what it, under your name, you have a remix that you did, two remixes for Moscow, and I know that's out. You have your uh, first EP that you did together on Dewey that started this whole, this whole project, right? Um, um, we had done a remix for... Um, for Amy Douglas, which was actually credited as a Justin Strauss remix, but we did it together. That was sort of the first thing we we well, did, right? We we worked with Mr. Moscow Man on our EP first. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> <Trading>. <laughs> uh, that was Trading Places. Okay, that came that's that came out as a joint release on uh, Throne of Blood and uh, Disco Halal. And we had uh, Penelope from Golden Filter and, and on the one of the vocals. It's a great record i would still play it all the time and it gets a lot of love so yeah, yeah. That, we started with that and and we you know we did mixes for 2mr we did mixes for sean johnson we did mixes for dean meredith from chicken lips we've done uh yeah, Cast yeah. Of the there's actually i'll plug the mix we, we made a mix it's on the it's on the dewey soundcloud it's called at least we have each other. That's everything we did in 2020. If anybody's curious to check it out, <laughs> uh, head to the DW SoundCloud. <laughs> yeah, it's got a, it's like a best of each other for 2020, a year end wrap up. So yeah, you can see what we've been doing and we're just taking that further into the new stuff and it's been really exciting. And yeah. So, that's so you're gonna it. listen to more music? Yes, we're here. Uh, let's run. We don't have much time today. Let's uh, show me in your back. I can put you on the weekly every week. Get up. 
шокты покорелье Ты лайк с мамой посадки Да, у суки, у суки, ты в лапас Шокты от ритма Попасы, попасы, ма, юдя с ринта Попасы, нена, попасы, не ту И ту ночь, шокты, ты фаром как ту Everybody would have done music like Shulvin. Shulvin is the will powers of Lithuania. I don't know what they put there in the water, but uh, they face the. They know music in Lithuania. In Vilnius, specifically in Lithuania. Lithuania. Love Lithuania, and you know, played at the Opium Club and, and the and Pangos party, and that record is. What we just heard was fantastic. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> has been, it has been signed as we spoke. It sounds like, uh, it reminds me of this record called Dance on the Groove from the 80s, which Airport Airport was on the other side of that. Yeah. Um, I forget who was the artist, but yeah, I mean, it's got that old 80s, like Will Powers vibe and, and yeah, super cool. I would say that this is a, a sort of rare example where retro works, you know, <laughs> like the retro That's sound really doesn't yeah. feel like cheeky or, or forced or like, you know, it, it felt really, uh, yeah, there's, there was a very cool 80s vibe. Um, I was listening to the intro. I was like, I hope this has vocals, gave me vocals. Yeah. Um, That's, that was great. Really like that. I think you meant uh, Love International. Yes, thank you. It was a big festival. <laughs> it was a big record. Well, it, wasn't. Yeah. it was a long record. It was like a 10-minute record of basically, yeah. Was, that was really great. Really, really, really yeah, good. very good. Fuck. Uh, great there, job. Nothing to say. I can just... Uh, what, la what language was it say, sung in? Lithuanian. Mm. Awesome. Dread Shadow. Now you had fun. You had two tracks that you enjoyed. I wanted you to say stuff about stuff which is not your uh, fault. Not the good stuff, the cool stuff, the kids. Misano, you sent me the wrong link. You always do the same thing. This is the last time I'm pressing on your link and it's the broken link. I'm telling you, Misano, this is your last warning. warning. This is strike two. Strike three, no more very strict here yeah because come on you know people are waiting to for us to listen to the music and i need to go i need to take the link i need to play it uh, 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 uh. dead link it's a waste of time technical, technical difficulties okay eric from la you woke up early let's see what you got for us Misano, now you're gonna have to wait Another ASMR uh, electro. Yeah, 
precisely 8 a.m., Doyle McCormick whistled off and eased the throttle open. prevailed as the city of Kandalok prepared to send forth its most distinguished citizens. Now it now it's the, the the fun part. When it's good, it's easy. I mean, I love acid, and I love a great acid track any day of the week. But why did you stop it? Man, because it repeated itself. You know, itself, and it became the same. I think it's uh, it's an, it sounds very experimental, but not in the kind of say that I would say it's an experimental music. It's just the person that did it is still experimenting in the in the studio, which is nice. Specifically, I myself, I don't like too much speeches and this kind of stuff. I think it's over overplayed already. And there were some nice ideas there, but in general, it was very long and there was no coherent kind of thought throughout the track. So, I, you know. Yeah, um, I thought, ahead, no, no, you go ahead. I thought that the vocal was unnecessary. It, it, I don't like those speaking things as well. I mean, very rarely do they make sense in the record, but um, yeah, I think the the track just needs some dynamics. It's kind of just flat without, you know, just. Eric, is this, uh, how long have you been producing? I'm always asking, because this sounds like somebody that just started, because it's loops, it's a lot of the drum loops and, you know, and. And it stays flat because of that, because there is no dynamics inside of it. So uh, if if this is the beginning, great, move forward, you know, go on. I thought and the beat was great. I really like. I'm really into like all these like sort of breakbeat y like grooves at the moment. Um, yeah. I thought the acid line was great, um, but it's true that like I feel like it could use a little bit of development uh, in terms of like you know elevating the track to something a bit more special than just a beat and an acid nine and a sample on top. Um, but I enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Just, it, no. just, it just stays there. It stays there. That's the only thing. It's not, it's nothing memorable, you know, and uh, we're trying to create tracks that will uh, resonate with us for longer, basically. But right. if you have more stuff that you want us to listen to, please send and thanks for sending and thanks for sharing with us. And thanks for waking up early. So thanks if, for sharing. If you're waking up early, you can send another one, even though it's good for you to wake up early if you sleep well. <laughs> What's up with Presia?
Excellent. Yeah. I really, uh, yeah. This you guys are very supportive. No, I mean, there's a lot. I really You're listening to each other's music too much. No, <laughs> other stuff. no this is this is a track. This is a track I would happily release on Throne of Blood. <laughs> uh, I really love this. I think it was really um, um, classy, you know, very uh, so, like well, well done. There was a really great groove going on with the drums. Uh, the melodies were like strong, but it was not. It was like very subtle, and I really enjoyed that one. I love. I really love like the some of the chord changes in the bass and like the notes. You know, it really hit me. I thought there was a bit too much going on at certain points, and and like yeah. the groove is really good and can be. Didn't need all a lot of that extra stuff. It just it was it was yeah. something really beautiful about it. I yeah, I, I I the one thing I would say is uh, when you work with like uh, really deep subby low end and kicks and very subby uh, bass synth, you have to be really careful of how uh, how you place that in the mix because that that that's the kind of sounds that if not controlled properly, like it can sort of ruin. The, the intended effect when you play it out loud on a big sound system. Like if I was working with sounds like this, I would definitely have that mixed by someone who really knows how to tweak this properly. That would be my, my two cents. Otherwise, I think the track is amazing. Yeah, it's really good. I really... Can I say some stuff also? <laughs> Please do. I think yeah, it needs edit. It's not as it is now. It, it's there is some some of the moments got stuck and uh, it wasn't flowing as much as it should have mm. i mean you forget quickly you forget because the bass change it's a very kind of neo-romantic kind of vibe and you can feel the, the, this kind of uh, new wave bass change but uh but then you just but if you look at it again i will play it again now you will hear that it gets stuck in places and this, this is something that edit can can uh Edit can uh, edit can work on it. Personally, I didn't like the track for some reason. I didn't connect to it. I like the the musical parts, but I didn't like all the little bits and bobs around it, which felt a little bit cheap for me, at least. But you, uh, you, you know. always want to edit things. <laughs> yeah, you I always want to keep things down. You always want to keep things down. I think it's very important because uh, I imagine that a lot of creators they write, even myself. For example, if you look at people that write books and they send it to the editor, you know, and and they cut down to the core because other people need to read it. It's not for you to write it. You right. Know I mean? Well, I, I felt like it flowed pretty nicely. And I really enjoyed it. Okay, so I, stand, I stand by what I said. Max, no, good. Max, if you sign it to Throne of Blood, can we remix it? Because I think we could do a really great remix of that. I, I would, I think it's, there's a lot in there. What's the email that they can send you the music? I will. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I will let them know. I'll post my email in the chat. Cool. All right. Next up, Misano. We got to run. We got an hour left, more or less. Boom. We got more than.
Sorry. Uh, I mean, that sound, this, the production and the sound of that was really good. Musically, I didn't really connect to it. Not my thing, maybe, but I thought it was really well done. But I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Uh, stylistically, for me, it was, you know, a bit too on the sort of... Uh, progressive side, kind of like trancy, melodic house type thing. Um, I, I, it's not it's not really exactly a sound that I'm like very much into. Um, I thought the most in interesting part of this whole track for me was the way the, the, the was the bass line. The bass line was really groovy. The way it moved, I thought was interesting. The, the track was well done, but it's uh, st stylistically for me, it's like a sound that's like I, I feel a bit um, Estranged from. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the bass and uh, lose the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you know, it's nice. It's nice to be nice and to say some uh, nice stuff. But at the end of the day, nobody will sign this track. But not not every. Not, not every, how, how it is now. It's not good. You know, it's okay. He knows <laughs> the people. You know, all over in our career, there have been people that say this is good enough. This is not good enough. You can listen to them. You can uh, you you can choose not to. It's their choice, you know. There is always going to be opinions. That's all. I don't think it's good enough. I think it was all over the place. There was a lot of ideas. Lots the piano, of the snarls. It's very old in the sound. It's not something that I can speak for a lot of other labels. Not something that they will sign at this point. But yeah, there were good stuff. Like you said, the bass line and the groove is nice. You can build something. Yeah, I would love to. I would love to hear a version of this where it's just stripped down to just drums and that bass and just yeah. work off of that. Group. That would be way more interesting to me. But um, thanks, for, thanks <clears throat> for sending. And uh, don't worry, he'll be here. He's part of the show. This guy, he wants to hear. The, he want. They want to hear the truth. So if you want, if you have truth, truth to say, tell them. They need to hear it also. Yeah, I think we're being truthful. Right. Let's hear. Her. Arena.
Anna that asked the chat, what do they feel this track is missing? While we while we talk about. Uh, there's a lot of good stuff going on in that track. Um, there's a lot of things I really liked. It reminded me of this record by the KZA. Yeah. The Acid. Yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of very much similar to that. The same, the acid line, and the way it comes in. Um, and the the vocoder thing was cool. I think it needs a a better arrangement. Um, there's a lot going on in one part, and then it's not kind of really just it's kind of loopy at the end there. And I don't know. There's there's definitely some really good elements. Yeah, in it. I agree. I think it, I think it needs a good hook, you know, because like it 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 needs something that sticks out a bit more um to me that could make a really great like you know electro pop little song there like if there was more of a of a of a well defined hook whether it's on the vocal or a melody you know it, it was there it was bit, on it? what there were vocals on it there were <laughs> there were vocals but like the the vocals were um undistinctable they're like a vocoder thing at the beginning, kind of. Yeah, like, I think it it, would, it it could use like something a bit stronger vocal-wise, uh, more of a hook, and maybe a bit more of a pop structure, and like make it. That's where I would. That's the direction I would take this song if I if I if I, if I had a say in it. That's some really yeah. good. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, you can just go to Spotify you know, and check uh, names of. Uh, <clears throat> of uh, vocalists that you like their sound and just send the messages on Instagram. Most of the people answer <laughs> and just get a vocal on it and uh, do a collaborative with somebody because I feel like in most of the stuff that you send and we speak about it a lot that it's about uh, taking it to the next step because you want to do pop music but you hide it in this kind of club mentality and it's not you got to choose you got to choose side that's that's what I feel for this track. If you listen to that Kazo record or however you say it, yeah, KZA, yeah. yeah, that record is very similar, but really took it to another level with the vocals. Well, yes, yeah, it's because the the sample from that French song is a, is a is a very strong melody. So like you you're hooked right away the minute it comes in in the Kaza, uh the, the Kaza song. Um, here Shout it was to DJ Kent. What? Shout out to DJ Kent, Kaza. <laughs> Amazing producer. Right. Yeah. Um, and the original song, the French song, uh, Le, Le uh, Troublant. Elle avait les yeux orange, or what's it called? I don't know. The song that Keza sampled on, on uh, uh, that's a great song. You should check it out. I, uh, I'll find that for you. <laughs> it was on Keza or it was on Force of Nature? Force of Nature, no? That's no, the sample from uh, uh, Le Troublant Acid yeah. is from a song by a French actor uh, mm. who tried out uh, 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 at putting out a song in the late 70s. Yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm about to post the link in the... In the... Cool. Yeah, so, uh, but yeah, that's the, that's, a, that's what should be the direction, you know? That's what it feels. I would definitely work on it. It's it's not. I wouldn't throw that away. It's a good idea. No, no, not at all. It sounds great. Also, you know, a little bit. Uh, but I think it's missing the the missing link. Yeah. It's missing what it's missing, and he knows what it's missing. I think he knows what it's missing already when he sent it. I don't really like when people send edits because I don't know. There's nothing much I can say about that. Okay. Also, when they're already out. Thank you. 
I, uh, sorry, it's just against the what we're doing in the show. So please send stuff which is not on public and stuff which is stuff that we can really have some input and help because this is already out. And if you have something, uh, Gera, if you have something that you want to share which is not uh, which is not been in the, in the public eyes already, then great. Otherwise, especially edits and stuff like this. I would say it sounds nice. That's all. I, don't, I have nothing to say too much about it. But it's not uh, it's not the format of the show. We stick to the format. Vicky, your tracks are getting shorter. What's going on?
Awesome. Uh, great groove. I mean, I really love the groove in that. Yeah. Like, I would play it at a Rama bar at like eight in the morning or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it was a bit repetitive. Uh, it's missing. You know what? You know what I kept hearing. I, I kept wanting to hear the main lead from FL Space come in on top of it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> You know, it's missing something like that to like sort of, in my opinion, but otherwise the groove, the, 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 that's a really nice bed. I feel like something should sit on top to make it like more more memorable, uh, kind of like the track before, you know, um, but there is a really cool vibe and really cool, good groove to it, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> very nice, very cool down tempo vibes, down tempo techno. Or like that, if it's something that you can call it like that. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't think he wants a lead. You know, it doesn't. It didn't sound. But but then when he repeated himself, it's like okay. So I mean, I would rather hear, you know I could just hear the the groove stripped yeah. down, like like be mixing that with other records, and then like yeah, it's a good tool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. No, I thought I thought it was like a really a really good vibe. I love the. The reverbs and the sort of cavernous, like you know, yeah. But it has a potential side yeah. also, not just the B side that you can work with, you know. Yeah. All right. Great. Good job, man. Yeah. What's up, Individ? Oh. The big kick.
note. <laughs> that no, I mean, I released, I, I'm releasing and release stuff that he's doing. I just feel like this is very cold and it, it hurts my ear when I hear it. That's what I can feel about it. And I can I, say that. It's I would favorite. say it's, I mean, all of us get like a million promos in the mail and, you know, looking for music all the time. To me, this sounds like, like just too made for like Beatport or something. Like there's nothing that jumps out at you. It just kind of like, oh yeah, it's another track that kind of mm -hmm. sounds like that without it. I want to hear different stuff, especially now in these times, like where the, you know, we don't really have to worry about, you know, a I dance or for improve, only make music. But I, I, you know, it sounds really good and it's 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 really well done. It's just not, it's just not grabbing me for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I, I feel okay. the same. It's okay. It's not, it was nice. If I would in the, was in the club, I would play it probably. You know, and that's that's it. But I that's where it is. I wouldn't play it because it just it's just not special enough. It's just okay, and it's just like you want to play a record that is special and or you connect with in some way. I just didn't connect. With but it, it sounded really well done. I can, uh, I can, uh, yeah, I can relate. And to a lot of people, guys, you keep sending the the links and not a private, not a private link, and then I can't play it. It's very, very simple. You have one job: just send a good. Link. That's all. The rest we're doing. You just send the link. It's a shame because I want to hear your music. That's why I'm here. Not for uh, I have other things to do also. <laughs> what you got here?
this needs a lot of work. <laughs> Man. Couple, of, couple of good ideas, but doesn't really gel in anywhere, I think. It reminds me of the joke, the operation went well, but the patient is dead. You produce the track, just keep it there. You don't need to go to do anything with it. Keep on move forward. We all have a lot of music that we never we never send anybody. And that's okay. This this could be one of them. Max. <laughs> Max has nothing to say. That's okay. Your mic is off, Max. Your mic is off. I don't know. Is it off? I, no. I think he's just not saying anything. Welcome back. Uh, there was this side chance that I want to listen to. Where was it? I'm looking for it. Somebody's asking for girl producers in the chat room, and they're right. Why don't I'm, we listen I'm to running the after them. They don't want to be seen on screen, you know? Louise is out there. Half of them are hiding the fact that they don't produce. No, I'm joking. But, uh, you know, they don't want to come. I'm offering everybody. It's a sensitive time, and people don't want to be in the front of anything for some reason. I never yeah. understood the DJs really, they don't really have things to say. They that's just DJ. You know? Louise has a lot to say. Oh, <laughs> she's here on Wednesday. Don't worry. Hi, Louise. She's here, I think, on Wednesday. Wednesday, 22nd of 222. Two, two. Ah, Monday, probably. No, I don't remember. Yeah, I want to hear more women making music on this thing. These I want, I want also, to be honest, <laughs> even though I don't think there is a difference between men and women making music in general, uh, in the music, in the outcome of it. But uh, no. yeah, I'm up for it. I don't know. It's I, I never I never understood the the fact that it's not equal. You know, what what's the what's the original reason? I, I was born in a different place. But, uh, you know, where, are, where we were born, we had the prime minister already. She was a woman that was in the 70s already. <clears throat> the first time I walked into the Mud Club, uh, there was a, a woman named Anita Sarko playing. And there's been so many, you know, obviously, I, I never, yeah, I, there's been so many. And, like, yeah, it'd be great to hear more music on here from them. And... Get some, you know, get some of that energy in here. There's plenty of there's plenty of women out there making great music. Yeah, we're searching for them all the they're time. Not, they're not sending it in here though, <laughs> so here's a great opportunity. I know, probably they don't know it. So if you guys know any female producers or women producers that I, they, I know, send them to the show. We're here to listen. You know, of course. I wish. Uh, I wish in general. You know, the only thing is here is for me is to build a community and to make it as big as possible and people feeding out of each other's, you know, out of each other's idea and out of each other's inputs and stuff like that. And that's the and that's the main goal of the show, you know, even even if it seems like it's for me to have a, <laughs> to have a big Twitch channel, <laughs> which doesn't revenue anything. Uh, but Luis, it's on the Luis, it's on the twenty uh, second of yeah, on Monday, next Monday. Cool, I'll be checking that out. For Don't sure. forget, I had to go to the. Rina, you should be a girl producer. You already have a girl's name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where are the Laurie Andersons of there? Where is the original Laurie Anderson? Maybe Justin <laughs> knows where she is. She's around. She's here she's in New York. in space. Most probably. She's in Tom's... Uh, Tom, uh, uh, Tomkin, uh, Tomkin Square Park. <laughs> well, it's, it's snowing today, so I doubt she's not. Here, winter is over, by the way. That's, that's something new. We've got a nice snowstorm uh, going on. A little snowstorm. Moxie. So. Yeah, Moxie, I send her messages. Honestly, I'm sending everybody messages. They don't really answer. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I don't know if people send me messages, I'll answer. Even if I don't know them, <laughs> I'll answer. It's the whole purpose of you getting a message, you answer. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, let's hear some music. Yeah, let's hear this trance. This trance. I'm worried in three minutes.
People think that they can send me a curveball in side trance, but I used to be a side trance DJ. I actually love side trance. You went to the mud club and you went to uh, this kind of places. I went to the nature and then side trance. You know the worst thing about it? I'll tell you what's the worst thing about it. That it's not so bad. That's the worst <laughs> thing about it. Now the good thing about it that you can fix it. If you remove all this fucking compression, I feel like I've been hit with a car after I heard this. It's so loud and it's so compressed. Listen to some old school Psytrance music. It's not compressed at all. The kick is very small. The sounds are very... This is more like a EDM tune than a side trance, you know? It's EDM with some side trance sounds. So if you want to do side trance, listen to the originals, you know, and, and be part of that, you know, and bring this to your side. Or if you want to do EDM, go to the other side. Don't do this kind of fancy stuff. And uh, anyway, remove the compressors. Let the compressors leave and to remove them a little bit. <laughs> That's all. It's yeah, totally I had a I had a brief period in 1995 where I enjoyed going to a bunch of side trance parties and hearing guys like Goa Gale and Tsuyoshi and, and that was amazing. one that I got tired of that sound very fast and like yeah I feel like I mean this is really not like this is so far removed from the type of music that I might enjoy playing or listening to that I don't know how to criticize it uh, constructively like. Um, I'm sure it would do well with the uh, people who enjoy this this type of sound, but it's really not for me. Yeah, it's just not authentic. That's what I want to say, you know, in the sound. For me, you know, as a person that likes trance and and used to wait for people to come from Goa with dots and <laughs> and jaras and and hashish in their assholes, you oh, know. God. That's how they came back from India, and that's what we used to do when we were 13, 14. And we used to, and I used to DJ, and I couldn't beat mix, and so I had to only DJ in the, in the, in the, in the breaks. That's that's my mixing, that's my side chance mixing techniques in the breaks themselves. Uh, I never liked it. I remember, uh, I remember a label called TIP, and a label, a label called Flying Rhino, mm. and a label called Dragonfly, that were all put out really great side trends right. back in the mid 90s and still to this day they, they, these records are actually pretty cool especially when you slow them down but um um this is a sound like that i just yeah i felt very very removed from tola as they say jaras yeah old school yeah. The, and best, the best drug in the world jaras it's like the cognac of weed <laughs> that's the vibe i don't even know what that is but uh, i uh Only the oil from the plants, you do like this. They do it in their hands. The oil. Maybe that's why. Yes. The people in Palvati in the north, they do it like this in their hands, and then all their hands. Then it becomes black, and they round it to a ball, and somebody sticks it up his ass and bring it to Israel. That was the vibe. I'll pass on that, but I'll also pass on that. I mean, I just never listened to that kind of music. It never. It just doesn't have. I, I don't yeah. understand. But. Very. Um, I don't anyway, know. It's very, it's I don't know why, but it's very interesting, interesting music. 
but uh do we have anything else oh we have something else a lot of people by the way all all of you guys that sent links without the without the right uh link so it doesn't work <laughs> something i didn't tell you i know if you want me to tell you i don't want to shame you in public who sent me the wrong links well, what's up dan welcome to the show what did you bring for us demos for disco halal Oh. I feel like when somebody's sending me demos for Disco Halal, I feel like I'm reading an email. Wow. By the way, when somebody's sending a few tracks, I'm skipping through. That's, that's how it works. I'm going to take this moment to denounce, I'm going to put myself, I'm denouncing Disco Halal from this sound. <laughs> Do not send me any more indie dance kind of music. Do not send me any organism style music. Do not send me any art bass type music with snare rolls, original mixes, and this kind of stuff. Enough. <laughs> Enough. It's been... It's over. I've done that. I'm not interested. Send me music that I would love to listen to in the future, not the things that I've done in my past. Please, I beg you. You have it in you. You're good producers. I could never create this sound in a million years. Use it for something good. That's what my mother used to tell me. Take the shit that you're, the time that you're spending on shit like that and make something new out of it. Please. Wow. <laughs> um, but I, I agree, it's like... Enough already. <laughs> why, uh, why send something that you've already put out, that Red Axis have done you know, a million times and a lot better and like a lot of other, you know. Let's be original, let's, let's you not... Know, I'm, I'm more, I'm the... I'm mostly, I'm here to support this stuff. And honestly, there is labels that will release this kind of stuff. I get it. I'm not against it. Everybody needs to have their work and to do their stuff. But it's like, why don't you tell me, why don't you concentrate on the good stuff that I did also? Why only the bad stuff? <laughs> why do you keep reminding me all the stuff which I did, which were cool at the moment? Look at the catalog, go to Discogs, write Disco Halal, look at the music that I've released on the label. Even hey. if we release stuff on the label. Stop yelling, stop yelling, my... Yeah, boy. take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> take no, it down. Microphone. It's too close, I, I need to move it like this. <laughs> uh, yeah. you, I'm not angry. Thank you for sending. <laughs> it's like, I'm not angry. I'm just thank you for angry. sending, say thank you. I know. Thank you for sure. I want to hear more stuff from him because I'm sure he done other stuff because he sounds like a very good producer. He sounds he did other stuff that doesn't for Disco Halal or for X or for Y. I'm sure yeah. he's, he's done music. I want to hear it. I think you should do it for yourself and not worry about Disco Halal or throwing I think you should yeah. make that you like, mm -hmm. wow, that's there. That, and that will find a home. Don't try and make something for a that sounds like everything else on the label because the label has already pretty much moved on to the next, you know, to looking for something else. So, unless you're it. David Bowie, and he always moved on. No, no, I think unless you're very, very good or very, very successful, then you can do whatever you want. But when you're in the starting beginning, when you're sorry, in the starting point of your of your life, if it's okay to do the same, but it wouldn't get you, it wouldn't get you anywhere. Because at the first moment that you release this track, you have released something that's been two years old. It already is two years old, and that's what people will think about. It. you got to push yourself to something fresh. What can you do? Even a little bit. Take the same, find some new elements for it and build from it. Not the same stuff. And I'm not talking about Dan here specifically. I'm hearing dozens a day. I'm getting in my mail the same. Okay, very good. You've done the track. Good job. 
<laughs> well, some people just need to get those first tracks out or a first track out to build the confidence to do it. And others just don't care. And we'll start off with like something totally like left field. And I think those are the tracks that, you know, make me want to listen and make like, when I hear stuff, I'll get in touch with somebody like, wow, this is great. I, you know, I, I, I think it's, you know, people who like take those chances are going to be the ones that you notice. Yeah, and uh, listen to Justin here. He's been here for a while in the scene. People come and go. He's been, he's, he's seen a lot of people come and go. When you're true to yourself, like you said, the more your moment will come. Well, I, I don't know if everybody is, has that. Like, people just want to make music now because it's so easily made. So yeah, it's but, like, I want to make music, but do they really have a, a point of view other than just wanting to make music? And no, I but I'm asking for what? For real. I keep asking people here, why do you make... I ask myself, why do I make music? It's a continuity of, what, of who I am at this point, you know? If you think about it. If I'm new, from all the things I would do, I would do something that's already been, that's already in, in the world, you know, and there is nothing to do with it. You can't do any money with it. You don't have... There's no work from it. You know, there's no any kind of fame from it. What are you doing? Bring something that will stand out. It doesn't matter what. Just don't kill anybody. <laughs> All the rest is good. Don't do anything bad. Don't murder, rape, this kind of stuff. The rest of the stuff, be creative. You know, people appreciate creative people. Yeah. Let's see what... Uh, he's very creative, the next kid. I don't know if he's a kid, but he's very creative. <laughs> I want to say something to Boak, this kid 
kid or guy. I don't know why I call him a kid. It feels everything he sends is very naive and very in a good way. And uh, so it feels like he's a very fresh kind of doing fresh stuff. Um, you know, you are in a good place. There is so many good producers here in this community that you're part of and our Discord and everything. What do you need? What do you think you need to take yourself to the next step? Because your the ideas that you do are great, and it's just it's just about editing and some mixing and just putting stuff into structure. It's 42 years old. Amazing. And some uh, and some ideas to put your ideas in better structures. And there's so many people here that can help him. So please, anybody here, pick up the glove and help the guy out to finish the tracks. Because the tracks are there and everything is sent. I can play now all the stuff that he sent so far. By far, the more interesting stuff that I've heard in the show for the past in the past few months. You know, it's one of the ones that always catches my ear, but it's always... You know, there's a lot of work on it. Whoa. Whoa, the bird. And uh, I heard it. <laughs> I had the falcon, by the way, yesterday. I had the falcon. I've never seen something like that in my life. It just stood here and he's like looking at me. Are you going to get out of the house? Like this. Really. Um, I, didn't I, thought that was, I thought this was a nice track. I really like the, the way it built into this sort of slow-mo, like... Sort of, he, he was the Falcon, he says. Um, I, um, there was something really vibey about this track that, 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 I, that, that I enjoyed. Yeah, it was really beautiful, really nicely, you know, yeah. good, really good chords, really nice. I, guess, you know, I mean, I kept maybe a little vocal would be cool on it, nothing too heavy, but just it was a really nice track. I really liked the bass, it was great. I, um, I would just work on it a little more like you said yeah and please use the use the producers here in the community to do it and please just do it uh, we're they will support you i promise they're here for you uh, really good stuff let's see what's this I, i'm i'm curious about this vocals by cody produced by me please let it be a yes thank you Maybe I don't know much about you, but I'm falling. Maybe I don't know much about you, but Please don't ruin it with a lot of metallic sound now.
I wish I, I wish I had this kind of random ideas. <laughs> it's good. Uh, you know, the, the vocal was too generic, top 40 pop current thing on top of a, I don't know. It, I like the idea of doing something like that. I don't know that that was it though. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, 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 the vocals like really rubbed me the wrong way. That's a personal taste. The other thing is, you know, like it felt like it was sort of a collection of, of tricks in terms of production that like you've heard so many times the last ten years. You know, like all this sort of like uh, pop music of the last ten years that like utilizes uh, sort of uh, production techniques that come from you know EDM and like electronic music. So you've got the the gated vocals and the the the, 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 the side chain and everything the beat yeah. and all that like it, I feel it's to me it felt quite generic um, uh, in in that regard um, uh, yeah that's my that's that's how I felt about it yeah it was cute I mean yeah there's people who are taking that idea and doing crazier stuff like Sophie was doing you know. Charlie XCX, those people who are really taking that stuff to the next level and not trying to be wishy-washy in the middle. Maybe it's pop, you know, just... Yeah, I really feel like they were pioneering and then it became pop, you know, in this kind of sound. Yeah. This sound became popular because of, like everything else, you know, also dance music, disco, you know, all the origins of everything. So it's, uh, it's, it's okay. It's nice. I mean, why not? <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for sending. I mean, I'm sure if you would send it to a licensing company, they might sign it, and maybe they put you on a 20-second uh, infomercial about them. Which is good. You can make some money, but I would make more money doing that than you know. Having... Yeah, than doing indie dance for 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 uh, whatever. But uh, I want to hear. I wonder if this if this guy has more. If it has more more music, which is not like that, because I wonder always if people can produce other stuff also. Is this uh, Campbell behind you, OG, original Campbell? It's, it's uh, not. A, I mean, it's not a. He knows where you are. It's okay. A poster, but it's an old one. It's from back in the day. Okay, so Shane's music. Send us stuff which is not random. One more stuff. One more thing.
I gotta say that it's a little dated. The sound. It falls, yeah, it just falls into that Beatport promo music category for me. Like I, I wandered off like halfway through and I was like completely, it sounds like wallpaper, you know, it just doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I, I felt like, uh, I felt like I was not gonna like be so, like very quick into the song. I, 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 I kind of knew I, I was not gonna be like surprised by it, uh, you know, but then again, I can see, you know, thousands of people having a great time to this at uh, Burning Man. <laughs> but it's very like Robert Hart for me, like, you know, great that kind time. of like Man dominant, Man it's cool. that take house sound that has been very dominant, you know. Yeah. All right. Thanks for sending. I wonder, uh, by the way, if, you know, if anybody, I wonder if anybody is offended by the things that we, why we, where, where I, when I say here, I don't think anybody is. People are very, I'm offended by the things you said. <laughs> okay, you're offended, but people are... <laughs> I don't think you guys see the opportunity that people have to be able to send to people like you music and get a feedback, you know? I think you're doing a great thing here with this show, and it really is a great opportunity. I mean, you've had some amazing guests on, and, like, for, for people to send in their stuff and, you know... Yeah, it's it's really courageous. Like it's nerve wracking to like have your music like that. Uh, uh, um, yeah, and it's you know. great, man. We're we're gonna me and Max are gonna do something like this in ten minutes from now. With you know playing music, you'll be good by then. You'll be good. And you'll it's be like okay, it's not <laughs> easy, you know. And we've been doing this, you know, a minute. And it's like I think it's really brave of people to put themselves out there. But it's a great way to get heard and a great if you really do want some advice. From you know people that you trust or people's work that you like, you know you're really doing a great thing. But this yeah. is not a reality show, you know. It's like a no, no. Master Chef for music. Honestly, it's just a few people that I don't even think. If, if there was a Master Chef for music, you should host the show. If anybody listens, I'm free <laughs> till the end of 2022. By the by, the looks of it. So I'm free. After I, I, that, I might not be interested anymore. But until uh, then, uh, it's just the yeah. You can disagree. Everybody can disagree. You have your opinion. My mouth, opinion. my opinion. I can say what I want, and I always and maybe tomorrow, if you ask me, I would say something else because <laughs> it's just an opinion. <laughs> Sometimes I hear music, and the first time I didn't like them, and the last second time I liked it. I love music that you that takes a few times to hear. I mean, yeah. when I used to buy records and buy albums, whatever, it, it, I would just play them over and over again. And like, it doesn't always have to hit you like, oh wow. I mean, there might be something interesting that catches your attention. But I think if something is like, you know, it has room to grow, and I think it's it's really cool when the, that happens. And uh, and growing is it feel, it's filled with pain. <laughs> this this for sure and it doesn't matter all the people that were on the show did a long way to get to where they are if they're good or if they're bad if you trust what they say or you're not if you like them or you don't like them it doesn't matter they are doing the groundwork and they keep doing the groundwork if you want to listen great you don't want to listen amazing most of the people shouldn't listen but when somebody tells you that the music that you make is a little generic, you should listen. If somebody tells you that the music you're making is bad, don't listen. You know? If somebody said, fuck, I never heard some shit like this before, it's probably crap. Then don't listen. They don't know what they say. But if somebody said, I heard thousands of tracks like this, don't do another one. That's all. That's all we're saying. And don't try to please other people. Again, with the random idea, I thought I loaded something else. We, we, have, we have time for one more. Wait, I'm just gonna. Okay. Okay, it's the same vibe, compressed. Same compressed sidechain. So somebody should cancel sidechain. <laughs> just block. Can you block sidechain on, on Footy Loops or something like that? Because that's how it sounds like. No sidechain. Well, if you use a real compressor, maybe, but if you. Okay. VSTs. Uh, you have time for one more? We have one more? One more. 
see what the dram dramatic king brought today. Wait, he sent the wrong link. Wait, he sent the wrong link. Now I'm intrigued. If it's another chain, if it's another side chain. Oh my God. Oh my God. The whole chat will come at you. I'm just going to skip her. Don't worry. I see a shadow. That's the one when I found out all the lies that you put me through. By the way, Shane, what we're talking is also, it, it applies to you also. This music exists and made millions. You're not going to be part of it. <laughs> not, not specifically. Anybody that will start making the same kind of music at this, at this moment in time. Yeah, you got to take that to another level and, and bring in something that we yeah, haven't. Something that doesn't exist. Even if it's a little bit different, it doesn't have to be a world apart. Just a little bit different. Well.
pretty good. Really nice sounding track. I really? think there's like I think there's like a big uh, comeback of like the breaks these days. There's a lot of break stuff that keeps I keep hearing uh, here and there. Um, I would like I thought it was a, a cute track. I mean, there was definitely good energy to it. Um, it had a bit of that you know like British '90s breaks type vibe, which you know I, I I've always been into. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Well done, for sure. Moscow, we can't hear you if you're talking. Sorry, yeah, I was on mute. Uh, yeah, very nice. I like the ending part of it. When there was something I could connect to. I don't know. During the track, it, it just went by me, which is nice. It's like kind of a soundtrack -y more than... Yeah, more than, exactly, uh, yeah definitely hear that in a, a movie or yeah, like, more like yeah uh, swordfish <laughs> I've, I've talked about it already kind of vibe but we gotta we're gonna have to you guys gotta on. bounce i gotta thank you for this and uh wish everybody a great uh, weekend thanks and, for sending in that stuff some really great great stuff uh, and next time uh, thanks for tuning in thanks for sending thanks for having us for sure thanks for coming and good luck with the little meeting and we'll come back with you know yeah when you when you <laughs> whenever you guys want my oh. calendar is always free awesome. I mean, whenever you have time of course <laughs> i'm gonna gotta run my bro my brother has a birthday today it reminds me how, how old i am when i'm thinking about his birthday so uh, i gotta run and do a call all right Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for sending. And uh, we'll see you soon. I'll see you on Monday with uh, eh, whatever. I'll keep you surprised till Monday. And uh, come to Discord. I'll send you the, the Falcon. I, I managed to take a picture of it. Bye-bye. Ciao. Cheers. Ooh. What do you guys want to do now? You want to stay? You want to go? What do you guys want to do? You want to chill? You want to talk about other stuff than music? We can speak about anything. No, not really. Thanks, guys, for everybody. For everything. See you soon. See you Monday, 4 o'clock. We got a special guest. We got a very nice week coming up, I got to say. Okay, I'll stop talking. I think I'm talking to myself. Ciao.